So what we'll be doing today is a vegetable casserole. Some persons like to use the regular mozzarella cheese or the white cheddar. And for those of you who are vegetarian who don't like to use any of those cheese, you want to buy the vegetarian cheese, you can go ahead and do so. In our vegetable, we have our broccoli, our cauliflower, and carrot. So what we're going to do now is to strain it off in this. So we have all of this pre-prepped already and, um, and if you notice the size of them with the different cuts we have the different cuts and the different sizes so you let that um, cook for about 10 to 12 minutes and then you strain it off get all of that liquid out of it all right and then you get your bowl and place it just like this in it Good. So what we're going to do now is to let this sit here for a little bit and then we're going to go over to the stove where we will be sauteing all of our scallion, our onion, our purple onion and tomatoes, sweet pepper and a little hot pepper for those who like hot pepper. Now we're going to add our scallion. So we have one part scallion, then we have one part onion. So this is our purple onion to add a little color as well to it. And then we're going to add our white onion as well. And you stir all of that so everything can evenly cook. Or the heat is too high, you can always reduce your heat to a balanced temperature that will cook your seasons evenly. I'm going to add my hot pepper. Yeah. I'm going to add my tomatoes. Nice. See that color coming in? Yeah. Working with color. Alright. And then Last but not least, our sweet pepper. So let that stay here for about five minutes. Let's keep an eye on it and watch so that it can sweat a bit and then when it is ready then we come back to it and uh, we pour it in our vegetable. It's to combine our vegetable to our season. Just like that. And then we're going to mix in everything just like that. What I should have done is to place this here. 
because we're going to combine everything together just like that Right, good, nice. All of this color coming together. So it looks pretty and a bit glassy. What I'm going to do now is to, is while this is here, um, sitting and waiting, we're going to grease our container and then add a little breadcrumbs in it as well. So we'll tip a little oil and use a piece of napkin or if you have the brush, you can use the brush. If you don't have any, you use two of your finger and you rub to the side, to the side and then to the bottom of it to get it um, evenly spread around. So that is finished. So now I'm going to add my breadcrumbs. See it is already done. Nice, just like this. Just like this. If you like a lot of breadcrumbs, you can add a lot. If you don't like a lot, you can only just add a little. All right. You add it according to your flavor, your taste, and how do you like it? So you see it. So the excess, you pour off the excess. And this is it looking even, evenly. So okay, back to our vegetable now. I'm going to use my, in my fridge I have my cheese. So I had this in the fridge so it doesn't stay out too long and start to melt. So uh, what I have here is it, this is about a, a quarter cup of um, evap milk. Yes, quarter cup of evap milk. If you don't want to use evaporated milk, you can always use your soya milk. Alright, so now I'm going to pour in my cheddar cheese. So you have to do this while the vegetable is still hot because you want the, ch the cheese to help to combine your lasagna. Some people like to use egg, but I say I am not using egg tonight. I'm just doing it like this. But if you want, you can add egg in here and to help bind it. But you don't have to use egg if you don't have egg. Bear in mind, if you have all of these things around your house, use them. If you don't have egg, that is fine. All right? Yeah, so this is this. So what I'm going to do now is now to pour it out in my container. Pour it all out inside there. Right. Pour it all out inside there. Don't leave nothing in your, con in your pot. Good. But if you're a cheese lover and you like a lot of cheese, you can use two cups of cheese if you wish. All right. And now I'm going to pour my mozzarella cheese all over it so that my mozzarella cheese will melt evenly. And you will get a nice finish. I think I'm going to use one more cup mozzarella for it to for it to be able to sit well on it. And I believe my family love cheese, so I'm going to go with two cups of mozzarella on top. All right. So you want it to evenly spread across. on top so this will take about another 10 minutes because you have everything else here ready or until the top is golden brown
Now we are back with our vegetarian casserole, or vegetable casserole, I should say. No, look at how nice and presentable it looks. Okay, it is very hot, so you have to be very careful and gentle in. Very careful and gentle in taking it out. Ooh, it's breaking apart. Ah, nice. This is how we're going to display our casserole. Always take out this little piece here. Nice. This is how we serve our vegetarian casserole. And we serve this with toast bread. You can have it with anything you choose, anything you like, your desire. So, this is our vegetarian casserole. So what I want you to do for me now is to like, share, subscribe, and like. What? You're still here?